Good morning and welcome to McEwen's Beach. And uh, this is, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes south of Mackay. Um, and they, they've got like a swimming enclosure. So the, the crocodiles can swim without having to worry about getting eaten by sharks. Well, <laughs> is that right? Where, what, what stops the crocodiles just coming in round the back here? <laughs> <laughs> but, we just uh, walked up this swamp which we thought looked like perfect. Yeah, all in here is all swampy. And uh, when you watch like Bear Grylls the Island and they're catching them crocodiles, that's sort of like what it looks like in there. Uh, apparently there's a creek mouth down the bottom here and we've been told that there's a good chance we might see crocodiles down there. And then we've also been told that because it's high tide that might reduce our chances of seeing crocodiles down there. And I think there's a creek mouth down this end too, so we'll go up the beach and have a look and see if we can find any. Well, so we're talking to the lady behind us fishing there, and she said she's been coming here like 17 All the life, years. Yeah, yeah and oh, 17 or 70? 70. 70. 70, yeah, okay. And she said she's never seen one here. Yeah. But she said that, that people do see them here and that they hang around the enclosure. She said because the fish get stuck in there and the crocs want the fish. So you, you've just got to be lucky I guess. And she's probably not very observant if she's been here 70 years and hasn't seen one. Like I'd, I find that hard to believe. But uh, yeah so we're going down to the creek down here and see if we can find one. Well if we can get down to the creek down here the tide's up. She did say we want to uh, she might, might have to get in the water with the crocodiles here. <laughs> so yeah, well, it's really nice down in here so the lady was saying there's two creeks that end down here somewhere one's alligator creek and i forget the other one's name now um but yeah i think this is near the end here where these people are fishing now, this looks like a mad spot for fishing hey eh? there's a sandbar comes out there and there's like a big trough like right in front of us here and uh, it's really cool with all the mountains in the background and stuff and uh, yeah it's a mad little bay so we made it to the end and here's one of the creeks here and uh, it's really cool eh? Yeah. oh there was something just jumped over there eh? oh, oh it's still jumping oh wow, oh, oh, wow. bus stop Three meter flatty. Yeah, this is really cool. If there is any crocodiles up this creek, you think they'd get washed out past here, eh? Right? Because the, the tide's coming out pretty quick. So I don't think this is the alligator creek. I think that's further up. Yeah. But still, it's a mad spot. Oh, I wish I bought all my fishing stuff. Oh, it's still busting up over there. Whatever it is, it's like munching through bait fish up against the mangroves over there. And so we can hear like snapping noises. I don't know if it's like fish hitting the surface. There was a couple that did over here that made like a similar noise, but it sounds more like there's branches or something snapping. Mm, it's happened a few times. Over there, just did it again a little bit. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There's heaps of life in this place, though. Hey? There's so many little fish jumping, and then even like we've seen a few big fish like snapping them on the surface, chasing them. But, um, no crocodiles. <laughs> Surely one's got to come out of here soon. Oh, there's something coming down the creek here. I, I don't think it's a crocodile though. It's like a big ball of roots or something. Yeah. There's been some big fish splashing too, eh? Mm. Must be, like, it's got a bit barramundi making like the big wallop sound on the surface. Go, whop, whop. It's a lot. Yeah. 
Oh man, it's, it's a mad place. I think floating past is just weird looking. Maybe it's a crocodile in disguise. Yeah, wow, there's been so many big fish like busting up the little fish on the surface. Oh, all the fish over there now. oh yeah, all over here somewhere they're all jumping. It's so hard to get a shot of the fish busting up because you don't know where they're going to come from though. It's just all of a sudden it's like whack. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> yeah. And that, they're all just happening like right out here in front of us pretty much between over here and over here. And then every now and then there's like huge ones down there that you can hear. But you, you just hear them go whop. Still no crocodile zone. We must have been sitting here like more than half an hour now. So uh, we might go and head up the other end of the beach and see if it's any better up there. Oh, I've got a feeling there's going to be bust up there. Oh, something splashed there. Come on, come on. Oh. You can tell where the schools of fish are right up against the surface, like you can see the difference in the water and where the fish are all schooled up against the surface. And there's some over here and then there's there's more coming over here now, them two patches on the water there, or that funny patch that looks different. Oh, 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 oh I might have got that one. <laughs> Yeah, and look at all the little fish. They're all like jumping out like crazy. <laughs> yeah, they go for ages. They like they're only on it, which they do. they're only tiny little fish too, eh? They're not. They're yeah, only they're, they're only gonna be like fifteen or twenty mil at the best. Yeah, <laughs> it says being mad anyway. Yeah. Right, so we come back up the beach, back to the swimming enclosure thing, and I uh, out here. I think that's that big stick thing that floated out past us just before. <laughs> it's on a journey. Yeah, it's going to create his own island. So uh, we're going to get back to the wombat and then we'll go back up the town this way. And uh, there's something up there. I think it's a park and stuff. But yeah, so we'll have a look over there. Have some lunch. So the park down here wasn't very exciting. They just built like a rock wall in front of all these rich people's houses uh, so their land doesn't erode away and put some stairs in and that's about it. So we've just had lunch here and uh, now we're going to go back out and across the highway and come out at the creek mouth that's, well on the creek that has its mouth just here but you can't get to it from here because it's all mangrove swamp. So we're going to go further up and there's like a town that the creek runs through and we're gonna check that out. Oh man, I thought I got lucky then. Look at that. Damn you big funny log. So this is Baker's Creek and I think this is where the abattoirs is cause it's like, it smells like someone's boiling meat. Mm. Um, Doesn't smell great. <laughs> no. Nah. And, and I think it's just over there. It says whatever that is, is a food manufacturer anyway. But it's not, it doesn't say if it's an abattoir, just food manufacturer. So, um, yeah. Can't see any crocodiles here either though. And you don't get the best view of anything from here. Just these trees. I'm guessing we're not gonna see one here. Can't see any over there. There's the railway bridge over there. If you squint some of those funny bits of foam look like crocodile's eyes. <laughs> yeah, there's heaps of like foamy stuff in the water here. So yeah. No crocodiles here neither. No fun. So um now I think we're gonna sort of start heading back into Mackay. It's only like we're right on the outskirts of Mackay here anyway. And uh, I don't know what we'll be doing, but we'll see you there. 
Right, so we got border looking for crocodiles. Uh, there's not a lot of good spots where you can get down near the water where there might be some. So uh, we come back into Mackay now and back to the pool. The free pool here is the best, day. Eh? What is it? The Blue Water Lagoon? Yeah, it's really, really nice in there. Apparently it gets really full on the weekends, but it's nice and quiet during the week. So, <laughs> so that's the time that, to come. That's good for us people who don't have to go to work, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, that'll it's a probably... Beach, by the way, not a beer, in case uh, you're wondering. That, that's probably it for today. And then I think tonight uh, we're going to go out with my sister and my nephew and uh, check some stuff out then. So uh, we'll see you tonight. Dun, 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 dun.